Oh, don't look yet. That's That's why it has to look. Uh -huh. I've only really seen that like three times and she tried to clean it. Sure. All right, welcome back to Smoke Rare Barbecue's YouTube channel. To start this off, we're doing Snowflake Whiskey from Fanny Ann's. Absolutely delicious. And yes, this is one in 2100 bottles that only exists. So this is very rare, much like the, the ribs we're doing today. I wanted to use the barbecue sauce we just made on the Vitamix A3500. The, the barbecue sauce itself was a, was a recipe that was uh, shared to me with from Vitamix's Twitter account on their uh, main main page. I wanted to uh, I wanted to see how well the sauce complemented the ribs by themselves and also with a generic barbecue with a, <laughs> a generic barbecue rub with a barbecue rub. Not only a barbecue rub, but the barbecue rub from GQ Barbecue. I did two different approaches. Well, we did two different approaches, right, kiddo? So we put we put a uh, rub on both of them, or, or not? Uh, I just saw, I just saw you put it on the end. Yep, that's right. We just put the sauce, we cut the uh, single style cut, purchased from the store in half, and put rub on one side and not on the other. So we can experience the, the sauce just, just just by itself, naked, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and then one with 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 it. We'll put it on the big grenade for a little bit with indirect heat. Which is no direct heat with with smoke and that's about it so now we mopped it of course with with the sauce halfway through the cook did not wrap it at all tin foil i don't know what it is i like the it's more of like i think a true true barbecue we don't use a foil but now I use foil right here to to keep it warm as we uh i'm talking too much so you want to take this up oh yeah that's the one we put the Rub on, that's the one we did. That's right. So which one's naked? <laughs> no, we put sauce. Yeah, sorry. We, we put sauce on it, huh? Okay. We Wait, need to cut these up. We can we cut these up now, right? Okay. Look at this knife. Isn't this so cool? Pretty good, a little smokering going on. Nothing on the bottom. We left the membrane on the bottom, and and that's about it. I, I don't. It's all personal preference. I get that. Uh, if you if you're doing it, please feel free to move the membrane if you think uh, you need to. I don't think I don't think I need to. You're gonna cut, you're gonna cut the bone, silly. That's where the bone is. Ah. Uh, okay. I yeah. Know I yeah, it's. I'm a little worried though. That it might be a little too spicy for you. So we'll see. Okay. I understand. Okay. Oof! Look at that. All right. Squeeze it just a little bit. Get some of that moist juice to come out. 
And my hands are a mess. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm going to grab a rib here and try one. Um, I'll try this and let you know, okay? okay. That's why I, I just want to throw. I want you to bring yourself. Cheers. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. Yeah. Want to try? Sure. Right, right there, okay? And not, not too spicy at all. It's not spicy at all. It's not spicy at all. That's really good. Maybe the sauce, like, kind of cooked it. Maybe. High five. Good job. You want to hold this thing and take a bite? No, you hold it with both hands. Yeah, yeah this bone right here. Take a bite right there. Pretty good? I'm going to try this now. It's really good. Uh... Jason, good stuff on the rub, man. That's, that's some good stuff. Now I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for a naked rib, see how this goes. Mm. <laughs> a little hot. Uh, hot temperature wise, not hot spicy wise. I can't even take a bite. Is it just too hot? Then it's not hot. Right there, yeah, take a rib right there. It's because of the bone. Yeah, well, try, try it right, right there. That's not. Oh. There you go. A little, spike, a little hot temperature, too. Pretty good. Wow. Uh, I think they both taste the same. The sauce does taste really good. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm a, probably a fan of, of the naked ribs. <laughs> uh, but but I mean, to, to, to each his own. I think the sauce goes really well with with with, with the rub we chose out, or goes go, goes well without it. I mean, you don't need the rub to, to have delicious barbecue. The barbecue itself, to me, is indirect cooking with smoke. And that's that's really what's going for. Everything else just 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 adds to it. Because that first ingredient to me is the smoke flavor you're adding when you put it on like on the barbecue. Yeah. I mean. That's awesome. That that's what you do. That's and that, that's how you do it. You don't use no fork like mommy does, right? And I do when you cut up the steak. Because you don't like the the crust of it, but you're, you're eating it all now, and that's awesome. Until next time, everybody. Kind of yeah, I think so. Do you want do you want to say do I say it? Or do you want do you want me do you want me to take us out? Um. Um. I don't know what the first thing is. No. Keep barbecue in America. Bye bye. <laughs> have, a, have a great time, and uh, until next time, cheers. Thanks for watching.